Greg Caggiano here for Ghosts on the Coast and the Atlantic Islands Historical Society. I uh, just want to talk today about the events that we have upcoming in October. Some of them are actually already sold out. We were a little late in getting this video up and we have been blitzed with requests and reservations over the last few weeks. It was only August 10th that we released our October schedule and by uh, August 15th one of the events was already sold out and now it's, what is it today, the 22nd? Um, we are sold out of several events. So let me tell you about them and entice you to hopefully come check out what we have going on here at the Strauss Mansion Museum in October. First will be our annual live screening of Nosferatu with live musical accompaniment, which is provided by Cody McCory. He is an Asbury-based musician. He has done this now four years in a row. It sells out every single year. He sets up actually right here. We have the video screen in the parlor and uh, they play an hour and 20 minutes straight through um, for this, this movie and it's different every year. He changes it up, he brings his friends, usually there's seven or eight musicians, really cool instruments, they have a theremin, they have all this weird stuff, they are really good. Sells that every year, so if you want to be in on this, I would contact me now. Uh, my email address will be in this video description. That is $15 per person. We have screenings at 7 and 10 p.m. on Saturday, October 5th. Make sure you get those reservations in. Now, the next weekend, we have our first event, which is sold out, and that is the walking tour, the haunted walking tour of Fort Hancock and Sandy Hook. This event sold out in about five minutes. It was unreal. Uh, according to our Facebook analytics, it has been seen by like 200,000 people, and we cannot accommodate that. This tour is strictly limited to only 25 people plus two board members uh, who must go along. And people have been hitting us really hard on Facebook in the last few days, sending threats. Scalpers and scammers have come onto our Facebook page trying to get tickets and resell tickets, and it's just been absolutely crazy. And people are like, how come you're not adding more dates? How dare you only have one tour? The answer to that is, we would love to add more dates. If we could add 20 more, we could, but we are bound, our hands are tied with the National Park Service as they have been gracious enough to have this event. Um, they are allowing us to hold this tour and keep 100% of all the proceeds so that we can keep this building open. So we must abide by their scheduling and their rules. And unfortunately this year, we can only have the one tour. So I apologize to those that could not Come on, a friend of mine reached out a few days ago. She said, oh, you know, come on, you know, we've been friends for a long time, you can get me on, right? And I said, no. I said, right now, as it stands, I could not get my own mother on this Sandy Hook walking tour. It is booked and sold out. However, if you would like to email the person running it and be placed on a waiting list, his email address will also be in the video description. Maybe somebody will back out and some tickets will pop up. I have no idea, but right now, it is sold out. However, if you are still looking for something to do on October 12th, we have The Pit and the Pendulum, which we will be screening here, the classic 1961, I think. Vincent Price, Roger Corman, Edgar Allan Poe, gothic horror movie, which is what one of my favorite Vincent Price movies. We'll be screening that again right here. This is the perfect place to be watching a Vincent Price horror movie. That is halfway sold out. Originally, we weren't even taking reservations, but we had so many people reach out. That's halfway sold out. $10 per person on that includes free popcorn, as does Nosferatu also includes free popcorn. And we will be debuting a cocktail that night. I will be working on the Nosferatini, which there are some recipes online, but I'm going to come up with my own, and you can be sure the color will be blood red. Now, our last events of the month, October 25th and 26th, as this music blares in the background dramatically, we have our annual ghost tours, but this time we are switching them up. They are psychic ghost tours. We will be joined by Miss Lisa, who is a psychic in town and a very good tarot card reader. She will be joining us for all of these tours. We have three per night, one at 7, one at 8.30, and one at 10. They are 90 minutes long. They are very extensive tours. You will spend half of the tour downstairs, listening and watching evidence we have captured over the years, and then you will participate in an 1890-style wine glass seance. After that, you will then be switched over to the next set, which will be a tour of the 21-room mansion given by a couple of our board members where you will get to see the spirit box and the K2 meter in action. It is a mini ghost hunt, history lesson, all in one. It is $20 per person, but it is well worth it. The 8.30 times, though, on both nights are sold out, and right now, 7 p.m. Is, is like this much. It's almost there. 10 o'clock, though, has a lot of people, and again, we can't add any more time. So if you want in on those tours, email me. My email is in the video description, $20 per person. 
all of the proceeds for all of these events goes directly here. Nobody gets a dime, only the Atlantic Highlands Historical Society. Uh, Ghosts on the Coast, we have been honored to be partnered with the Society for six years now and doing ghost tours for four. And we love doing it, the group is here, we, we, this is what we live for in October. So that's all for now. Keep an eye on our Facebook, facebook.com slash ghosts on the coast NJ, and the Historical Society's Facebook, facebook.com slash AHHS info. We might be adding more events, who knows? Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in October.